We're gonna have a fire in the fireplace today and the stove will be installed and the chimney pipe will be in I hope. <laughs> We're Trent and Alley, and building a cabin in the winter has been an adventure. More problems in the snow. And now our extremely heavy tractor is uh, sliding into the ditch. A fresh foot of snow isn't gonna stop us from climbing on the roof. <sighs> oh! It's just blasting hot air out of this hole. And even though Frank is having a blast, we are ready for some heat. Besides, how dangerous could it be? It weighs a million pounds, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We've got some crazy stuff going on. First of all, I wanted to show you, got the espresso machine back out, made a delicious looking latte this morning. I've really been slacking off on making lattes because we've been getting up early and going out and working on the house, and today is actually my day off. Yesterday, it snowed, and it snowed, and it snowed, and it snowed. We've got a lot of snow outside. So today, after I have my coffee, we're gonna be doing some snow removal. Oh yeah. Quite a bit of snow. As you can see, nothing's come off the roof. The deck has a foot of snow on it. Basically, we've gotta clear off the deck Make sure we don't die from the roof sloughing off on us, so I gotta be really careful there. But first I gotta get the Kubota out. I gotta snow blow the driveway. Got a lot of work to do. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long, till I'm back at the farm. Frank absolutely loves the snow, and if he was out here running around for longer than just enough to go to the bathroom, or maybe, you know, five minutes or so, uh, we would put his booties and his jacket on, but he's just gonna run out here, and it's pretty cold, so he's gonna go to the bathroom, and then I think he's probably gonna try to go right back inside the trailer, because that's what he normally does when it's this cold. Not sure how easy it is to see on the camera, but up at the very top of the roof, you can see a gap in the snow, and that's where basically the front of the roof has started to slide, but the whole thing hasn't come off. I do have a plan. I'm going to go try and turn the candle on inside the house and hopefully that heat that's inside will raise up and kind of warm the roof and that'll cause the front to slough off. Maybe I'll get on the scaffolding and like bump the roof with the broom or something to try and get it to uh, dislodge so that it slides off of there because I really need to shovel the deck and uh, I don't want to be standing underneath the roof and shoveling the deck because if it dislodges it could mess me up. Um. Well, got a little bit of a problem. I was out here, just the section of our, from our house to where the road is plowed by a professional company. Uh, I was just widening the road just a little bit. It's only about a quarter mile long. Now right here, there's a big ditch and the rear axle started to slide into the ditch. And now our extremely heavy tractor is uh, sliding into the ditch. I think what I'm gonna have to do is actually get the ram down here and position myself over that way and probably hook the winch up, pull myself sideways a little bit so that I can back the tractor up and not be stuck in the ditch anymore. 
I'm not gonna tell Allie what's going on. She's busy editing a video right now. So I'm just gonna try and do a self rescue here and see what happens. actually really cool about the winch on the truck is it has a wireless remote so I can actually be in the tractor I can pull the winch to where it's really tight and it's applying pressure on the tractor might not even have to drive I might be able to just slowly pull myself out of here without even turning the tractor on Crisis averted. A little bit of extra work, but uh, at least it didn't get too stuck. Our temporary garage rocks. We absolutely love it. It keeps the snow off of itself by the snow sloughing off the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Now when it sloughs off the top, it packs up against the sides of the shelter logic. So what we actually don't want is for so much snow to come off the top of the shelter logic that it builds up on the sides and it compromises the structural integrity of the frame. Pretty much every snowstorm will end up with, you know, anywhere from four to five feet of snow piled against the side of the shelter logic. And I gotta go along with a shovel now and remove all of that. More problems in the snow, so the 4Runner probably needs to be cleaned off. There's so much snow on it that I think it's so heavy and it still has like the factory tires on it, no snow chains. I backed it up right here and as I tried to pull forward to come into this parking spot over here, just started peeling out and spinning and uh, doesn't really want to go anywhere. But I'm gonna give it one more go. I knew the 4Runner could do it, it just needed a little bit of persuading. Now I can get past the 4Runner over there and I can go clear off the other side of the shelter logic. What a day. I feel like I'm done shoveling for the day. Still gotta do the deck. All right, I've been editing all day. I would love to take a break. Trent has told me that it's a little bit white outside. I'm excited to go see what that means. I already took care of most of the white. Our driveway and everything looks amazing. Ooh, wow. Oh, it's cold out here. It's really bright. It's really cold and sunny. Super bright. Wow, I can't even see. Are you loving life right now? Oh, good boy, good boy. So as you can see up on the top of the roof, the snow is like starting to slough. Oh, yeah. But like what's holding it, it's compacting and what's holding it is like at the eave. You can see the little icicles. Okay. So I think I'm, I'm gonna try a couple things. I just wanted you to be out here to keep an eye on it so you can see huh. kind of when it, when it sloughs. A lot of you guys are worried about us being crushed to death by the snow sloughing off the roof when we're on the deck. And that's why we have the sunroom. So the sunroom roof angle faces a different direction so we can use the door to the sunroom as our main door in the winter time. Right now, we need to clear the deck off, is I'm assuming what Trent is getting at. Um, but he doesn't want to do that until the snow has sloughed off 
the top roof. So I'll stay here and watch. If I get up there, I can be as close to the roof as possible and the snow sloughs pretty far away. So that's a safe zone for sure. I'm gonna go inside and probably get a shovel <laughs> and turn the air compressor on, maybe bang on the walls a little bit, see if I can send some vibrations through the house that'll cause the sloughs to come off. Good luck. Let's see how it goes. All right, so the ladder is obviously got a lot of snow on it. Ugh. I don't want to fall. Oh, there's a lot of snow. All right, so here's the first test. Nothing. Knocking dust loose from all different types of places. Oh, I did not want to come down. All right, I'm going to spot for Trent. He's going to start shoveling some snow off the deck. If anything starts to move on the roof, I'm going to yell and he'll run toward the house or in through the front door. As long as he's up against the wall of the house, he's safe. Basically exactly where he's standing right now is the most unsafe spot to be. deck so at least we don't have to worry about the deck being overloaded when the snow off the roof hits it. Maybe some more small vibrations will get it to come down. I think some snow just fell off the back. did it safely. <laughs> Intense. It's a good thing Trent was inside for that. And that, my friends, is how you slough the roof. Pretty exciting. Now Trent has a lot more work to do. Unfortunately, I have to edit a video, so I'm gonna let him get to work. I'm gonna get back to work. Good luck to him. I'll let you go, just need some time. Today turned out to be a super fun day. Actually, it hasn't snowed in a long time and we've both been really enjoying it. But I think the best part of all of it is that our water pipes are not frozen. And that means I can wash my face tonight using my favorite Tao Clean Ona face brush. Tao Clean is the sponsor of today's video. The Tao Clean Ona face brush comes with a portable base station that keeps your brush clean and dry between uses. Its two modes, super clean and sensitive clean, sweep through pores to dislodge dirt, makeup, and dead skin cells. The dock has a built-in UVC light that kills 99.9% .9 of germs and pathogens, along with a built-in dryer, so your brush always stays clean and mildew free. Tao Clean is doing a special sale right now. They're giving you guys 50% off plus free shipping when you buy two items. Click our link in the description and that'll work for any of the products on their site. Thanks again to Tao Clean for sponsoring today's video. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday was a pretty gnarly day. Not only did I do all of that work and get all the snow figured out and sorted and shoveled and removed, 
But then after I was done, more snow fell off the roof, and so there's more snow on the deck. I got to shovel again, or maybe Allie will help me out. But then yesterday, I left to go to the grocery store. I had quite the adventure then as well. Well, I wasn't going to bring the camera because I thought this would be rather uneventful, but nothing up here is really uneventful. Looks like uh, this guy right here shouldn't be up here. He's front wheel drive, has no snow tires. His car is a disaster and he's stuck in the middle of the road. And then if you can see up here in my rear view mirror, this lady almost ran into me and then she got unstuck and then she ended up off the road again. So I'm backing up up here to go and help her. We're gonna get her unstuck and then I'm gonna try and help this guy up to the top of the mountain. I like doing this stuff, I like helping people. this and I love having fun and helping people but there's literally an entire group of people out here standing and watching people try to come up and go down this road because one they know people are gonna crash two they know people are gonna end up in the ditch three most of them are trying to go up or down but they don't dare because the road is so in such bad shape right here well the guy with the Ford Fiesta uh, that wasn't gonna make it up that hill decided he's gonna leave it at the bottom and I'm kind of glad that he did I'd probably get a lot of flack from people for hauling him up to the top of the hill because coming down he would be a disaster. I don't even think he has snow tires, so not an ideal vehicle to try and bring up the mountain, but um, heading all the way down now. The guy in the Tahoe that I pulled out and the girl in the Jeep that I pulled out uh, both look like they might end up off the side of the road somewhere down here, so I'm actually going to the grocery store, but uh, I like helping people when they get stuck. And so we're gonna see if those guys made it all the way down. Hopefully they did. And if there's, you know, no events, then I'm just gonna head to the grocery store. This is uh, what it looks like on our days off. sure you guys are probably wondering why we have a French press now and we have a regular coffee maker and where's the espresso machine? The espresso machine is under the counter. It just takes a whole time of getting ready and making coffee and doing all these things in the morning, which I absolutely love doing, but I never do it on days that we work because I just want to zombify myself out of bed, come over and grab a cup of coffee and drink it and then I got to get to work. And now, Allie's decided that she's cutting out caffeine, she's cutting out alcohol, she's healthifying her body 
to prepare herself for an immense journey. <laughs> And so she's drinking decaf. <laughs> and that's fine, she's drinking decaf, I'm drinking regular, and we're gonna go get to work. It'd be great if you just drank decaf with me, but I know that's not even close to an option. Yeah, it would take another year to build this house, for sure, <laughs> if I drank decaf every day. I went and got a big ladder yesterday. We're gonna put it on the back of the house. I'm getting on the roof. We're gonna cut a hole. We're gonna install a chimney, and mark my words, we're gonna have a fire in the fireplace today and the stove will be installed and the chimney pipe will be in i hope <laughs> so basically after weeks months of anticipation I think we are finally making progress today. And we're gonna install this wood stove. Of course we're deciding to do this on the coldest, snowiest day in weeks. It's been so mild and warm with no snow. It was 11 degrees this morning when we woke up and uh, I'm ready for some heat in the house, not gonna lie. Hopefully they can do this safely. That's pretty much all I care about. The sheet metal is going to stick out past the concrete board and that's going to give an air barrier between the sheet metal and the unprotected floor okay. and it'll also give a little bit of a heat break between the concrete board so the concrete board doesn't get super hot. There's also a heat shield that goes on the bottom of the stove mm -hmm. that also protects it from being too hot underneath. Really we need to have like this ready so when Sean gets here we can get on the roof and finish. Okay, well he said he's running early so he'll be here soon. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so instead of building a big, beautiful hearth, we decided that we would just throw some concrete board down with a little sheet metal air barrier protection piece and, uh, I'm not moving that fireplace again, so this is basically how it's gonna be <laughs> from here on out. He's joking. It's a joke. This is just temporary, don't worry. <laughs> so we've got the fireplace set. Now I know a lot of people are really concerned with the clearances that we had set up for the fireplace. Trust me, I'm very meticulous about these types of things. We need to have six inches between this type of pipe, that's the code, that's the manufacturer's recommendations, now this wall is gonna have a quarter inch piece of cement board, some mortar, and then some brick veneer that pushes it out like an inch to maybe an inch and an eighth. And we have seven and a half inches between here. So we have even about three eighths to mess with. The only thing we need to do now is mark exactly where the center of this pipe is, where the stove is located now, shoot a laser up, and then mark that spot in the ceiling so that we can cut our hole. Scary. Hopefully, hopefully we didn't move too far side to side so we're running into a joist now. I think we might be. Because uh, that would be just my luck. <laughs> We're calling in the big guns today. Sean is here, he's got a bunch of climbing gear with him. He's gonna help spot and make sure everyone stays nice and safe. Him and Trent have a lot of climbing experience between the two of them. Hopefully we can get this done quickly, safely, and uh, fast enough so that they don't actually freeze to the roof because it's very, very cold in here today. So we've run into a little problem. <laughs> Per usual. When I measured where the chimney pipe was going to go, I measured to the roof sheathing. I didn't measure to the bottom of the joist. Now, this right here is a support box. Basically, the chimney pipe from inside the house locks onto here, and then your triple wall, super insulated exterior chimney pipe goes inside this box and goes out the roof. Now, when I did my measurements, I measured to the roof sheathing. This joint is going to be below the joist, which is going to be like a 14 inch difference, which means our chimney pipe, instead of starting at the sheathing 
it's going to be 14 inches shorter. So I need a little bit longer chimney pipes. Hmm. And that sucks because there's no substitute for that. We have to be two feet above the peak. No if, and, or buts about it. Everyone's a scrub. It's just that your guys' is a little bit more in the public view. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Sean. I'm glad it's not just us I that got, are... I got your back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're gonna have to be on the scaffolding to hold that anyway, so maybe you can be up there with this and just uh, stick it through so we can figure out where it's at. Ugh. I thought Brandon wanted to get up on the roof. Definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's done now. Daylight! It might not be perfect money, but if the chimney pipe is a hair out of square, it's just gonna match the rest of the house. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> Nothing quite like suiting up like you're going to have fun <laughs> when you're not actually going to have fun. Actually, this probably will be fun. All right. Um, I think everything is gonna go fine. Obviously, it looks like Sean is my pack mule. <laughs> I'm carrying the Sherpa camera. Sherpa Sean over here. Silicone and he has everything else. Uh, we're gonna go up and we're gonna find that hole. We're gonna cut out a big hole for the flashing. And you know, everything is gonna go smoothly. And if we do have a problem, we're gonna overcome it with a smile. Right? Let's do it. All right. Woo! Nice! Our uh, boots aren't gonna get here? super wet. I'm so fast in the snow, you guys have no idea. Wow, you're already back here? <laughs> One thing I am kind of concerned about is that the, the ladder dug into the snow a little bit. This is all compacted snow because this is where it sloughs off the roof and lands right here. And uh, hopefully I'm not too fat or Sean's not too fat and the ladder goes deeper into the ground. I've already climbed it. It's fine. Okay, Sean already climbed it, so it's as deep as <laughs> it's, it's going to get. It's Sean's here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I guess uh, all there is left to do is go up. All right, so I'm going... Got a rope here that's attached to a side-by-side -side on the other side, so I'm just thinking if Sean and I fall side-by-side -side, that we don't pull the side-by-side -side any further, <laughs> maybe we come off the roof, so <sighs> here we go. Still some snow up here on the peak. I forgot uh, how scary this roof is. It's pretty scary up here. And if you're watching this at home right now and you're really nervous about Sean and I, just know that we're trained professionals and we've done this before. <laughs> Have you done this before? No, we've never done this before. <laughs> Oh, you're a sealant. No! <laughs> no! Lost the caulk. You guys are having too much fun. The throw attempts didn't work. Yeah, that's you. Thanks. Oh. It's going pretty smooth so far. I only dropped the silicone and the caulk gun. Now we're ready to jigsaw out the hole. I used the flashing up here. I traced the outline with a paint pen and then I went ahead and of course it's going to be impossible to get up, huh? I just uh, razor bladed along where the paint pen was. Voila! You ready to catch her, Brandon? Oh! How you doing? Oh, it was like popping a zit, dude. 
it's just blasting hot air out of this hole. Really? Yeah. And it just blew so much sawdust into my face. Oh, that was a that you you get experienced by doing that. I would not do that again. Oh my gosh. Like all the hot air in the house is just being forced out of that air out of that hole like so quickly. It's like I like sitting in front of a heater right now, yeah. So I'm gonna make basically probably two beads around this thing and then I'm gonna slide it up underneath the ice and water shield, adhere it to the roof, put a couple screws in, silicone the holes. I'm not gonna tell you actually, I'm, I'm just gonna show you guys. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. Baby, let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to blink. I could go for some queen bee too. Bass is going boom. I got the flashing in, it's underneath the ice and water shield, it's screwed and siliconed on the bottom and the top, and then I even siliconed some of the uh, flashing, or some of the ice and water shield to the flashing, which is definitely going overboard. I'm just gonna tape this piece of ice and water shield back together where I had to cut it with some flashing tape. Come on, Trent, get straight. All right, so I've got the first piece of triple wall pipe here. The second piece is right there. The only problem is that these are three foot sections instead of like a four foot and a two foot. And the three foot section, it like goes inside this collar and then locks together. So do you wanna just lock them, two of them together and then put it in? I think so. These pipes are really heavy. We're in double pipes. Oh, this is not a good idea. <laughs> Just because it's heavy? It weighs a million pounds, yeah. What are you doing? I'm just gonna take a little nap. <laughs> Sean and Brandon obviously went to lunch or <laughs> taking a break or something, so this is like the least painful, most comfortable position I can be in. I could probably fall asleep right now. Whenever we get into fights, that's where I'll send you to sleep. Instead of the doghouse? Yeah. It's the peak of the roof? Yeah. <laughs> I just have a permanent hook attached right here where I just <laughs> always sleep. That's it! You're sleeping on the roof tonight! <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really funny. <laughs> it it's like the star on top of the Christmas tree. Extremely glad we got all of the on the roof stuff done. I know all you people that were worried about us falling off and dying and were holding your breaths the entire time. Now you can breathe again. We're back on solid ground. However, we are gonna get on the scaffolding now and start building the inner chimney. And once that thing is built, which should take less than like, I don't wanna jinx myself, but maybe like 30 or 40 minutes, 
We can make a little kindling fire. Hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> you excited? Yeah, that's gonna I'm be really awesome. Excited. And your toes are freezing, so. Let's go inside. What's better than to warm them up in front of a nice little fire? Yeah. It was a huge help having you up on the. <laughs> <laughs> We're inside each other's COVID bubble, so we can hug. Seriously, right. thank you, Sean. Absolutely. That was super helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. See you later. Open the bag sooner. No. Ah, don't drop the screws. Look. Oh. So lucky. Look at how lucky that is. <laughs> the screw almost went down two floors. <laughs> halfway done with the job and I have so much confidence in this. <laughs> now the only thing we have to put in is the telescoping piece, which I think is easy and will go really quick. So give me a few minutes and then we just gotta throw heat shields on and we can build a fire. What time is it? It's only 1.30. Yeah. No! So a couple of our measurements changed since we initially placed our order on the stovepipe. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, the telescoping piece is a little too tall and we might not be able to install the last stovepipe at all, which is such a bummer because we're so close. You know what they say. What do they say? It could be better. It could be worse. But I'm happy with it. <laughs> Well, things actually went really well today just because we ran out of the proper lengths of pipe. We got most of it in and we got pretty much all of the like sketchy stuff done. I do have to go up and put an extension on there, but that should be pretty easy. And hopefully the extension shows up before it snows a bunch again because there's no snow on the roof right now and I would really prefer for it to stay that way. The snow caffeine thing is gonna be really difficult. Is it hard for you today? I feel so, I could just fall asleep right now. <laughs> Actually, maybe that's not a bad idea. We should have like after work naps. Oh, don't tempt me. <laughs> Almost like my on the roof nap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had your nap for the day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. I feel like we got a lot done, even though like, we did. you know, we didn't get to the actual end zone. We just got like really, really, really 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 close and we're set up for the next play if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure don't forget to show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already thank you again to tau clean for sponsoring today's video click the link in our description to check them out and we'll see you guys on the next Adios. one i still remember the day that you came you were so there it's just a day